We converted a bus into our home and now we travel New Zealand full time. Before in our lives it was just so hectic, we were always having to meet some time or some deadline, but now we just have so much time on our hands and we can just yeah. use that time for whatever we wish, which is such an amazing thing. Our lives have just slowed right down, just dramatically. It's really amazing how stressed we were and how busy we were that we didn't really realize no, until yeah. we've been here now and we're, our lives have just slowed completely down. Before we moved into our bus we lived in Auckland in New Zealand and our life was very crazy. We both worked full time, our kids were in daycare and it was just a juggling act. Uh, we had very little time for our relationship or for ourselves. Yeah, it was just very stressful and very busy. And very expensive. The bus is a 1987 Volvo BF6A. It's 11 meters long or 36 feet and I converted it with zero experience of building or doing electrics or plumbing or anything. So I learned everything from YouTube and Google and it took me about 12 months of working every weekend and almost every single night after work. Yeah. Um, and he worked about 80, 70 to 80 hour weeks because he was working full time as well and it was really really hard we didn't see each other eh? no at all really yeah i was an absent husband and absent <laughs> father for 12 months but it got us out of the rent trap and out of our expensive and hectic lifestyles for young auckland families it's pretty much impossible to buy a house now the cost of a decent house in a nice-ish area being no less than a million dollars so Buying a house for us was never really an option. Our monthly expenses renting in Auckland were about $3,000. So that was just simply rent, power, water. Uh, so now in the bus, our monthly expenses are basically $400 maybe? Yeah, yeah. maybe something it's like that. It's yeah. really little, it's just diesel, a tiny bit of insurance for the bus. We don't pay to um, park wherever we are we normally stay in a free um, camping location so in terms of rent there's nothing where power comes from the solar system that we have our water we just basically find taps to yeah plug our hose into so in terms of expenses that have come up that have been a surprise to us nothing has been a major surprise but you do need to factor in the, the fact that we're driving a 30 year old bus around the country and you do need to think that things are going to stop and break down yeah. and we've had mechanical issues come up and that's cost us more in time than money rather than just getting a mechanic out i try to do most of it myself and that's just a downside of living in a bus like this you know it's not all all positives of course there's um a balance there as well So one of the main questions we get asked is what do you do for a living, how do you earn money? We came up with a way to try and reduce our, our expenses as much as possible. That was as much or as important as making money we felt. Yeah. So we've really cut back on um, I guess luxuries and things like going out and eating I, at yeah. restaurants and... I think we've just become less consumers. We came up with an idea or a concept that we just needed to produce three or four income streams that might produce us a hundred dollars a week. So we went out and did that and the way we did that was we started a YouTube channel and we documented our entire conversion process and our day-to-day our -day living in a bus. We do Patreon, which brings us a very small, but you know, it contributes um, to our income. And there's a couple of other bits and pieces that we do as well. Um, so it all adds up to a very, very small income, but it does just cover our weekly expenses and we have savings that we live off as well. So in the future, we do hope to grow those income streams, but for now it works. Welcome to our home. I'll show you around. Down here we've got the shoe cupboard as we first come in, so this is where we put all of our shoes. The driver's seat. This is our little cracker wood stove. 
So this is our main source of heating for the bus. It keeps us really toasty warm. It's also great because it doubles as a stove as well and we do quite often cook on here. Uh, just here is the storage for our firewood. So this is our lounge area. Our couch here doubles as a bed as well. If we have somebody come to stay, they can always sleep on here. We've got storage under here. So the kids' toys are under this one and our batteries are under these two here. And also seat belts are under these cushions as well. This is our dining area here. And this also doubles as a workstation. Underneath here, we've also got storage, which is toys. So down here, we've got pots and pans and cutlery, kitchen utensils, stuff like that. A nice big sink, which is awesome. We've got here a exhaust fan that sucks all the kitchen fumes away. And up here is our tank gauge. So this tells us how full the tank is and when it needs to be emptied, which is super handy. Water pump is here. So when it's on, we've got hot and cold water in the sink here. When we want hot water, we flick this switch on here. And this is our hot water heater and it's powered by gas. And also a gas oven as well. We have a full size fridge freezer and this is run 100% off solar. This is our pantry or dry goods store. And we have a couple of these, which is all we need really. It's perfect. Kids bunks area here. So Jake's in the top here, Daisy is in the bottom. And we've got these curtains here so they can have a little bit of privacy. So down here, the kids have got one drawer each for their clothes. This is our bathroom here. It's pretty simple. We have a sink here, storage underneath, and this is our shower here. And in here, we have our nature's head composting toilet. We have our master bedroom at the back here. On the roof, we have 850 watts of solar panels, and that is powering 960 amp hours of AGM batteries. So then along the outside here we have uh, three storage cupboards and the first one is our electrical system so we have our solar charge controllers, fuse box and also some extra storage for things like firewood and an axe and that sort of stuff. And the last two we have our storage for our propane bottles and also a 200 litre grey water tank. This is our outside cover of our gas hot water heater. This is a six gallon or 22 litre hot water system and this is perfect for us. So this is our main storage area uh, with all of our toys, fishing rods, skateboards, exercise equipment, kids bikes, a ladder for getting on the roof, you name it, we've pretty much got it in here. The things we like the most about living in this small space would be the fact that we are closer together as a family we have more time to to spend with each other i mean it's yeah it's small but i actually really love it there's nothing i would really change about the design of it i think we've our design has worked really well for us yes it's small but that also means it's way quicker to clean and we don't have as many things to clean up because it is a small space life is just really much simpler yeah and the other thing is that it does kind of force you outside a bit more now, back backyard is all of New Zealand, yeah. so it's pretty incredible in terms of the space that we have now. Our kids, they both absolutely love their life on the bus. They've been just in their elements outside and bare feet, playing, finding sticks and stones and mud and all sorts of stuff. And they, yeah, they've adapted to it really, really well. They've got their own little bunks that they love, their little space in there, and they've slept really well, eh? Mm. With the schooling, we get asked that a lot, uh, so we're going to be homeschooling the kids. One thing that I would want to say to those people thinking about doing this is you can do it. You know, we did it with no really any money behind us. Uh, we have two kids, we both work full time jobs at the same time, and I have no experience. So we did it. So anyone can do it. And it might not be a bus, it might not look like this, it might look like something else, but yeah. if you really want it. If you want the change and you want to live your life on your own terms, then you can do it. You just yeah. need to plan. 
put one foot in front of the other and you'll get there. It can happen, you can get into a different life.